Last time on Chasing Atlanta. So this morning, I'm having another housing session with Pastor Julian, who lives in Tennessee. I've always wanted to have like my own family because I've never really felt like I really did. Experience is the invitation to justification. We're gonna go and have a little fun today, but we're gonna also go and release the meat to myself, so. Y'all, I'm staying. All I see is white people, and we walk comfortably through this shit. I, I'm having fun, y'all, like for real. This is really just mind blowing. Love wins all. It's funny that I'm doing this and not sure. Girl, but that's your good Julie. So what's the thing, girl? First of all, my friend passed away like maybe like 2018. Yeah, I think we came a long way. This was my first time being a part of a group as well. We chasing Atlanta! Yeah! 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 I don't know. This felt like love. Everybody has a million talents, and I want everybody to be involved. So the name of this showcase is called Chasing the Bee. I think it's a really good idea. I feel like we need to do something that we can to showcase each and every one of our talents. So we're gonna do a little game later. I just want to drink and take body shots. For all of us to come together at at this point and just talk about everything, and I'm hearing everything that everybody is saying, and I'm like, wow, you I would have never known this happened. It shows how much we cover up amongst each other. This makes me excited to be a part of this group right here. So if I had to do it, I would do it all over again with these same crazy ass bitches. Hopefully when we get back to Atlanta, we can move forward because it's a lot of growth that has happened. But again, I don't trust these girls as far as I can throw. <laughs> Baby, today I'm hosting a red carpet for none other than my friend Rashad. He's the designer of his brand, Bergali. And listen, he's a Florida native. I'm a Florida native. He went to FSU. I went to FAMU. And it's just great to see this full circle moment happen. He's bigger in his career. I'm bigger in mine. And we're going to do the damn thing. So let's get ready because, baby, it's Bergali Resort 2022. Boom. Hey, Zay. Listen, the Florida is in here today. I got my babies. Listen, we got fam you in the building, another Rattler. What's going on, you guys? <laughs> they, I already know how you got up in here, but what are you looking forward to today, girl? After the cabin trip, my boy Troy hit the ground running. He's booked for a fashion show red carpet tonight that he's hosting, and you know I had to pull up. And as you see, bitch, I pulled up in some of my finest garments just to show support and look good for my breasts. Nene, what's going on? You Are you enjoying yourself, enjoying the vibes? Of course, experience? of course. I'm just glad I can come out and support you like Definitely. I always do, because you know. Yeah, I'm glad you came, you know. I hope you talk to somebody or see somebody that with the fashion I show about to start. I'm passing out my cards. Definitely, as you should. Listen, the show about to start, we finna have a good time. It's gonna be a ball. Like, I'm just excited to do this experience because like I said, you know, it's different for me. This is my first, like, my first red carpet in Atlanta. Like, this is, I have, yeah. I've done red carpets in Florida, things like that, but this is my first red carpet in Atlanta. And to be in such a huge venue, to be in, um. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. This, this is top of notch. Yeah. And his name is Shai, and his brand is Bergali. And he's been like, you know, he's been doing this since 
what, 2015? Yeah. Since we've been in college, and then, you know, just to see him elevate, because he was doing fashion shows in our gyms or in, like, in, F, in F, FSU. Nah, this, this and, way past the gym. Right, this way past the gym. Like, you're in a whole, you're in a Biltmore in Atlanta. So, first of all, I'm very excited to be doing this today. This is my first red carpet in Atlanta hosting, and it just feels so amazing to be in front of a bunch of black people and hosting a black, you know, a black creators event. I'm just super, super excited. And just to have Nick here with me, just supporting me, it feels very good. Let me tell you something. When you keep pushing for your dreams and you do what you say you're going to do and stay consistent, everything will work out for you, baby. And you see me, you see me doing the things of the things, honey. So I hope that you, you know, see something on the runway that you like. They're they going to be selling their stuff. I think mm -hmm. they said they got some of their stuff on sale today. So we can, you know, get in their network. Um, I don't know. None of the other girls still ain't like, show up. You know, like I said, Jay ain't called me and let me know that he wasn't coming I think that's so. because of the cabin trip, mm -hmm. because a lot was going on. Yeah. So I feel like the girls just need a break. Yeah. So I'm not well, going to be mad at them. I ain't mad. To, no, I'm not mad at them. Uh, I'm game. trying to the game, but at the end of the day, baby, Whatever happens, you know, it's, just, it's life. But we gotta keep working. We can't, yeah. we can't let what a, what's been going on in our lives affect us. And I do this we, for you, yeah. not for the other girls. Yeah. So I we, know Jay got yeah. something coming up. I'm gonna try my yeah. best to be there. Uh, I'm, but I, I'm gonna be at the show. I don't, well, I can't promise that. Now, what's funny to me is that we all did this kumbaya in the cabins, but now they're not showing up to support Troy. They told this boy that they will be here. But the only person that showed up, of course, is me. But you know what? That's enough because I'm gonna show my love, I'm gonna show my support, and I'm gonna buy me a ticket. My boy's been hosting left and right, and I'm extremely proud of him. He hasn't given up on his dreams, and he's pushing me toward my dreams. So for that, it's nothing but love, and I'll always support you any day of the week. <laughs> I got a lot going on. Yeah, I know. So yeah. it's just like, bro, I'm just trying to get my feet running on the ground. Yeah. When I got back to Atlanta, I had to face a lot of shit. Yeah, I know. know. Yeah, I know. So I'm just, you know, I'm out here, but yeah. I'm not out here. Yeah. You know. You got to take care of you. And I, and I keep telling you that, like, you take care of you first and make sure that what you like, what you got going on, make sure you're your best self and you're healthy for you because yes. you can't be. It's tell, about the mental. Yeah, it's about the morning. mental. And I tell anybody, you can't be your best self for other people if you're not the best self for you. And like, yeah. you, can, you can fake it, you can smile, you can do all that all the time, but baby, one thing about me, you can't yeah. you can't fake it with me. You can't you can't tell yeah, me. That no, you know, I ain't gonna yeah. fake it with yeah, you. Yeah, I already know, but yeah. I, I, I can see it, you know. So yeah. I want you to just enjoy today. Have a good time. Mm -hmm. I already know you got your drink. I got my finna get me a drink before I go in there. Here is. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and mingle in there and talk to a few people. I'm ready to see Alani because And thank uh, you for taking me out. Yeah, like, definitely. I appreciate I'm all Alani, it. Bitch, I need it. Well, I'm all Alani Taylor is designer. That I told you about that did the baby and Beyonce and all them. Oh, and part of B. So I'm like, girl. Uh, uh, so I need to get to the runway. Yeah, we, Alani, girl, can you give us a piece or two or three so we okay. can be a four, a four or five <laughs> or six? You know, I want to be feel like Beyonce too. Yeah, I feel like Beyonce, bitch. Okay, mm -hmm. you don't like Beyonce. Okay, body, honey. Too bad I've been sticking out your mind. I know you like your hair. Little Mr. Jersey. Bro, I think it's guac. I asked for a queso. Yeah, we bet, but hey, guac is good too. And their guac is really good. Okay, so, um, I've been telling y'all how I've been feeling about my depression and how, you know, that competition just really did a number. The competition or the pageant? The pageant was actually really fun. Yeah. The pageant didn't do it to me. The pageant, it was just like, oh man, like, I don't know what to expect, but it was a competition, it was the competition. All Stars is a competition here in Atlanta that you have to get chosen for. So the fact that I was chosen was an honor. I don't think it, when I was eliminated, I don't think it was my time to get eliminated. I made it to the top five. Um, and the week that I was eliminated was Celebrity Illusion. I did Monica and I did Whitney which I think was spot the fuck on and to do it somewhere else and be told that you looked damn good by Whitney Houston's makeup artist. It just really 
reassured my feelings with Atlanta All-Stars that it was not my time to go home and that maybe it was just politics. Yeah, that hurt, but like Aaliyah said, pick, your, pick yourself off, dust yourself off, and try again. Well, first of all, let's keep it, let's, let's keep it a buck. They don't really know what the, who, who Whitney or Brandy is if they couldn't see that. Yeah. That, that, that night. That was full. Like, yeah, that was full. You took Whitney and you went to Jersey through the pageant and you killed it. And that was one of the first things she said when she came back to the mic, when you came off the stage was they really have studied these people. Yeah. Because you killed Whitney. Like even in the um competition, you had the rag in the whole nine. They didn't know what the fuck they was talking about. You can't let that I mean, how you, you gonna be in the industry spot. if you let little something like that when you know for sure that was that you did your you did your best there. To just that one take you down like that. You can't. And that's what I'm trying to be get out of. Bit of a but it has that's to be more than that. Camera. What else is going on besides that? It yeah. has to be more. But that might have just not I ain't gonna that. hold y'all, so is a is. Oh lord. <laughs> Is adding to that. Well, no, we, you can't say he is. You are. Oh, you are allowing, allowing him. To be the case. But I love him. Oh Lord, I guess so. Talking to my parents about this ex, me and this ex have been together on and off for some years, and I feel like this ex was that particular love for me. It hurts. It hurts because I really. Do I really did genuinely care about him and I really did want things to work out. However, what did Star say? I bring me. He's not good there. for you. No. However, you need to I let it go. You need to let it go. If you want a relationship, you need to let go of those that are holding you back. And I said that I'm out there at, in therapy to my therapist the other day. You need day. to say it to yourself in the mirror. Just, well, why did he just, show up at the competition? Was, I thought he was I was getting ready to say that. He was supposed to be at my benefit show. He told me that he was depressed and he was crying in his room. And I have your location. You're lying to me. Mm -hmm. I know where you're at. That's why I'm asking you. What, like, what does he have uh, that makes him a good boyfriend? What does he have to make him a good mate for... Rami and Andrew. Yeah, cause you gotta do them both. Let yeah. that go. Let him go. I am very confident with Drew. Rami, not so much. Well, you're not confident with Drew if you're depressed over over the competition. I won't say that Drew's depressed. I'll say that Rami is depressed over the competition mm -hmm. because. Cause Drew did her things. Like Drew know she did her things. So. Baby, the yes. mic failed. So Wait. Drew's self-esteem is so Drew's self self-esteem is in the trash. Then. Drew self. I mean, not Drew. Ramir is in the trash. Maybe. Hey, okay, home. I won't say trash. It's sitting on the shelf. It's sitting on the shelf in the Kroger bag. The hell? I'm gonna be straight. <laughs> straight how? <laughs> what the hell you mean? <laughs> it's inner complicated. <laughs> And I just don't uh, And you think women not? Oh, child, I don't even know how I'm gonna get next to vagina. Stop allowing people to tear you down. Okay. No, I'm trying. Having this conversation with my parents was really important because when we were at the pageant in New Jersey, they were just looking at me and we were just sitting in a diner and my ass was just sitting there crying. I can always go to them and talk to them about things, especially when things are hard and things are tough. So I'm very appreciative of the relationships that I have with my parents because when I'm down, you know, they're gonna be there to pick me up and, you know, help me through this thing called life. So I really needed this, especially with them living all the way in fucking Canton. Like, girl, like, why would you choose to live all the way out there? Like, I get it, girl. Y'all wanna be lesbians and have a house and shit like that, but girl, that's far. I love y'all. We love, love you too. So y'all ready to go? Cause I feel like I'm about to cry. They need to give me some to-go boxes, though. I need a napkin. That's a napkin? Okay, let's we'll go get some to-go boxes out of that. All right. Considering how I work here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be sitting here crying. Like, don't prove me wrong, prove you right. My word is but we don't spit no Mama Twix and I are having a 
photo shoot in my living room. Her and I haven't taken like professional photos in a very long time. And I decided to hire my boy Aaron Thomas because I want to keep the money in the family and keep my friends out here working. But I have a big surprise for my mother. Within the last two years, a lot of our family members have passed. All but the most recent being my mom's baby sister, my aunt Melissa, um, who was like a second mom to me. Not only am I bringing a smile to her face with the photos and I got her all painted up, I have a huge surprise that I know will bring joy to her. Thank you, Erin, so much. I'll see you next time. You look so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Did you enjoy yourself? I did. You look so beautiful. I know. I want to see you with more makeup on now. I think I will. How you been doing? How your knee feeling? Okay, it's good. It's getting better. Mm -hmm. Better. So you know I uh you know I saw daddy. Yeah, how was that? <sighs> so when I got there, you know, he was doing the normal Eddie Singer thing, not answering the phone. But I'm like, sir, I came for you and my sister because you begged me to come. I'm glad I came to see my sister get married, but why aren't you answering the phone? He didn't answer the phone not all the first day. It barely answered me the second day. I had to Uber there and like pop up on him. But you know what, mommy? After I had just accepted that I can't put an expectation on my father that he at this present time cannot live to or up to, I stopped being upset. And I really enjoyed my time with him. Like, I really did. Listen, it won't undo over two decades of him not being there, but I celebrate every second, every moment, every week, every day that him and I are in a good space and our relationship is moving forward. And again, I'm just grateful to God to be blessed with that opportunity, something I thought I would never get with him. I feel like he still needs to like prove something to me and i told my dad you don't have to do that like i'm grown i take care of myself the only thing i just want you to do is if you say you're gonna do something do it and if you can't do it just let me know i'm not gonna get upset with you like i'm not gonna be mad you grown i'm grown and <laughs> what and you know me and quiz are that cool girl look at don't start we cool mom we cool i don't know what the future holds but we good, like we in a good place. We in a really good place. In a good place, wherever he's at. Yeah, you know, he still got his own place. Yeah. He still got his own place, I got my own place. We, yeah. we doing good, That's we doing right. good, it's better. Time apart, yes. it's really good. So y'all, like literally one day I was minding my business and I get a message from Quez that leads to another message. And we right now are in a good place. We are in a good place. We had a very honest, an open conversation, more honest than we have ever been, ever, ever, ever. I don't know what the future may bring. We shall see. All I know is mama, again, we in a good place, y'all just let it be. God damn, she wanna ask questions, go on, on. We in a good place, we in a good place. How you been, how you been? Uh, switching subjects, how you been? I've been since, uh, you know, we just came back from Florida. Um, You know, I'm still processing, you know, losing my, Baby sister, my best friend, my still processing it. Um, you know, you, they, I don't know if somebody ever said it gets better after the funeral, it gets worse. Um, because you know, you'll never ever see them on this side. And every day I'm okay, but I just feel like I have a, like a hole, like a, like it's a pain, but it's like a, like a dull, you know, nagging pain. You know, I can still function, get up and do the things, but it's this this is gonna take a minute. Well, I got a gift for you. I like gifts. I have a gift for you. You like it? Oh what? Oh my goodness. Hang this up right now. Wow. 
Chica. Oh, no, no. My girl. such a blessing to see my mom smile, to see her like light up and smile. I know she felt so beautiful. She felt so pretty. She felt like a freaking superstar because she's always calling me, be like, well, when are you going to put me up in makeup and when are you going to take my photo? I was just so happy that that moment was for her and I could really see from the inside that she was enjoying it and it was so beautiful to me to watch. Mm. Well, sometimes they say you can just get one more time, you know, and just have a conversation. It's just, you know, and I'm glad that we were best friends and loving, but I mean, I feel for people that are on bad terms, you know, with people and just, I mean, I don't have, I, it's hard to get closure or feel any type of, sometimes I smile, I think of a song and I smile, but right now I haven't gotten to that smile phase. I haven't gotten to that phase yet. I love it. And well, you got your very own. Oh my God. Yes. You got your very own. Yes, and purple. Purple, uh-huh, lupus. Thank you. <laughs> girl, you ain't messing up this makeup I didn't pay for! She probably said, girl, if you don't get this shit off my head. <laughs> you know she cussing, right? You know she cussing. You know she Why cussing. are you messed it up already? You she got a blot, now she got makeup. You can't wipe. You don't mess it up. You just got to tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Somebody <laughs> dancing on my face. Tap, 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 up on Chasing Atlanta. So today is the day for the launch of my line entitled Those Who Wait. $165 is nothing. I wasn't flossing money because I don't do that on Instagram. That's a ghetto. Being a part of this group, it has taught me a lot. You know, I'm um, glad I met some new friends. So I've seen on TTV or it was somewhere. T News, somebody that you and Mr. Ant have officially broken up. We probably won't be able to get y'all today because we ran out of time. You honestly think that I'm gonna come here and wait around four to five hours for free? Let's start there. So there are three things that I need to have in this life. The first being great sex. The second is not having anxiety. And then the last thing is being compensated for my time at all times, amen? So if you're somebody that likes to have sex but also doesn't want to have to worry about the constant anxiety about HIV and STIs, I definitely suggest checking out Project Peach. Um, they compensate you for your time. It's a paid prep study um, through Emory University. So if that's something that you've been thinking about, definitely check it out. Link is in my bio. And I'm nobody's influencer, so if y'all want to DM me, ask me questions about the study or anything like that, my DMs are always open. All right, that's all I got. Bye. Are you looking for a beautiful fruit display for your next event? Why not contact DMA Designs to create a memorable display for your special occasion? We specialize in creating unique displays for events such as baby showers, weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, retirement, office parties, and other social gatherings. For booking, contact DMA Designs today at 678-517-3338. We look forward to serving you. Yes, yes God, God Hunty. Hunty. Get ready for the biggest night web reality has ever seen. We've seen them chase their dreams, chase the dollar, and even chase the drama. But tune in to see them chase the beat. Presented by Oliver Twist. It's the first ever Chasing the Beat virtual showcase. A celebration of queer art and creativity featuring season five cast of Chasing Atlanta. Watch it live on YouTube immediately after the finale episode of Chasing Atlanta. Yes, God. God. Y'all see 
me, honey. Y'all see that? That hair and everything blowing, honey. Yes, the queen has entered the building. I'm here at Jay's, Jay Amore's fashion show, honey. And I'm just looking around. Everything is so well put together. I'm proud of Jay, for real. Because I can tell that he worked his ass off for this. So Jay Amore invites me to his fashion launch. I'm super excited to see all the fashions and all the hard work he's been putting in. I also got called to perform one of his favorite songs written by me. I can't wait to see how this event turns out. So I pull up to Jay's fashion show. It's windy as hell outside. I hope it don't blow my curls out. Just when I try to have a natural hair day or whatever. The venue is absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. Jay, girl, you did your big one, bitch. You did your big one. So today is the day for the launch of my line entitled Those Who Wait. I'll be honest, I was ready to cancel this show 32 times between me being in and out of the hospital, my grandmother passing away, and my show being less than 30 days away, plus my house got broken into. It's just been a lot. With me wanting to cancel this show and everything that's been going on, I literally had one week to make all the garments that y'all are about to see at this show. I'm freaking out. I wanted an intimate event. It ended up being more people than I thought, but thank God for Atlanta traffic because a lot of people held up in traffic. There are certain celebrities that are supposed to be coming here, certain, a lot of notable people. I have a big contract writing on this show. So let's see what it's giving. So first, I want to thank all y'all. I really want to thank all y'all. I know it has been a trying two months. I know communication has been not on dates to promise because of me. Just because honestly, I was going through a lot and I really did want to do the show. Some of y'all may know my grandmother passed away. Literally, I went, flew home for the funeral right after the casting call. So it's been a really rough couple weeks for me. Um, but I want to thank all y'all for hanging in there with me, sticking it out, making me laugh. Because earlier I was stressed out and y'all had me in there cracking up laughing. So I really want to thank y'all for that. This show means a lot to me. I have been designing now for nine years and I have never actually launched my line because I never really felt like it was my time. And I was ready to quit the show. My grandmother passed away. Um, but every time that my grandmother, we would talk about my stuff, she would be like, you, you sure you need to slow down? You need to slow down a little bit. Jay, you, just, you sure you don't need to slow down? You don't think you're doing too much? And the only reason why I didn't quit the show because this was the first time that I told her that about my show. She never said that to me. She said, go get them. So just bear with me tonight. It's going to be a long night, but it's going to be worth it. I shouldn't have worn makeup because it's all over this napkin. But... <laughs> Thank y'all so much for the show, and thank y'all for hanging in there. We gonna start a little late, cause this is Atlanta and all these hoes are late. Do y'all, is there more food? Y'all good? Do we need to order anything else? We good? Girl, you can't be crying. Well, no, come on, you made me. Because, you but you don't know me, that's gonna make me cry even more. I can't cry if you cry, because one of us gotta be strong. Don't mess up your makeup, girl, you still got one for me. Dad, like so many Okay. Well, in other ways, we gonna just go twerk for Jesus. Let's go, okay, come on. Let's go. Some days I don't know what to say. So much on my brain. Always learn the hard way. Trying to save the world can never save myself. No one understands me. Always wanna judge me. I'm grinding from the mud. Demons all around me. I ain't never safe. Praying every day that I see another day. Yeah. They don't know the pain that I went through. They don't see the things that I go through. Yeah. All they see is Lindsay's on my feet Tour a different city every week, oh yeah Yeah, I look blessed when I come through You don't know the price, know the sacrifice You just see the lights, let them verify You don't want this life I promise How do I cry again? Get back up and then smile again Go through hell, then fight again And make it look so easy Why do I try again? My best friend was still living to witness all my history 
oh my god my other baby daddy Aaron he has took the stage I just it's just something about what he sings it just do something to me it just it just touches my spirit and my soul and it just runs through my whole body yes go sing Aaron sing for your baby mama why do I try again live my dreams and then I die again lose my faith and come alive What was the declaration of general war? Just to get up early So my team don't ever have to worry Told my mama it's okay, buy it all Cause you can't take it with you when you're gone Ooh. They don't know what it took to get here They don't know the things that I dealt with Cause I had to learn all the lessons So that you could live off my blessings You don't know what it took to get here All this here could be gone tomorrow All you see are half empty bottles I'm thanking God though So just party, party on my dinosaur Be like hide to you But I'm so used to the bird's eye view The bird's eye view So for the night, live your life We got enough of this money to do it twice It looks hide to you, but it's what I do Bird's eye view, the bird's eye view Hey, yeah, yeah Bottles keep coming, they won't run out Looks like a castle, but it's just my house Excuse me for bragging, but it took me a minute to go crazy They don't know what it took to get here They don't know the things that I dealt with Guess I had to learn all the lessons So that you could live off my blessings They don't know what it took to get here oh, All this here could they be gone tomorrow All you see are half-empty bottles I'm thanking God though So just party, party on my dime, it's on me Let's hide to you, but I'm so used to The birds I do, the birds I do I am Mama Fan Prince and my young Zebby's beauty With A-line dress, silhouettes, and vision control I'll be back with digital symmetry And I'll design with big memory A beautifully crafted scenery, complex and old simplicity When g is say anything, I make energy with peeps on platform plus You see all I'll give you back, this ability Now for some, I'm providing identity And this 
was my declaration. So just party. about his show it's very touching because i know what it means to put your blood sweat tears and bank card into your dreams child i can't say nothing bad about it tonight baby the event was cute it was very upper echelon and gave me what it should have gave shout out jay moore and his fashion line and shout out to all the people in the building looking amazing period jay really 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 worked hard on the pieces that he sent down that runway and for him to push those things out from the time that we got home from the trip to now even experiencing losing somebody, a family member he is, I just think that he is a rock star for that. Like he did his big one and I'm happy to say that his models look top tier. His work was great. I'm glad to see it. I was crying, messed up my makeup when I first pulled in the damn door. Who was the train ready? Because you had nothing. I'm like, well, I'm not willing. Jay look good, girl. Thank you, ain't thank you. I'm proud of you, Jay. It was beautiful. You ate that up. You ate that up backwards. And y'all guess what? What? Cameron texted me and said, congratulations. I told him, bitch, don't send me no flowers, but thank you for <laughs> no flowers. <laughs> Please. Thank you for getting for the sent out. Being able to launch my line at this moment, it really means a lot because I took several years perfecting my craft, getting the techniques right, making sure the quality was there, the timing was there, making sure everything was perfect. The only thing that I wish is that my grandma would be able to see this moment. Um, that's really the only thing that's missing tonight is her, but I know that she's proud. So, my grandma also passed as well, so I understand all that. I mean, people don't know the things that we go through. People don't yeah. see the things that we go through. Um, but we all make it look good. You know what I'm saying? We make it look easy. So I just want to say thank you. I'm honored, and I give you all praise for what you built, cause that's amazing. You like a superhero now, fashion. Uh -huh. The bounce that was downstairs, they had that money. They looked just a little bit too real for me. I flipped a few of them hundreds in my purse, I ain't even gonna lie. But it is what it is, honey. Overall, I had a good night. But I got a date to get to, so. I'm like, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, you look amazing, though. You're very beautiful. You can't take photos, no way. No, I'm sorry. It's true. Yeah, I got to go back to on Chasing Atlanta. When you had the chance to ask me about the money, you could have asked me then. I didn't, shh. I did not know about that until afterwards, Troy. I did not know about it until afterwards. Matter of fact, looking at the tip that I gave you go toward his balance, because. It took you two weeks to send me $45. You're the one out here running about by me in these streets, and it got back to me. So baby, you thinking that was a surprise day, baby? I was already ready for you. I ain't never safe, praying every day that I see another day, yeah. They don't know the pain that I went through, they don't see- morning to pull the game together to deliver some interesting news. I have my project manager Trent here because this is a big, big, big deal and I need all hearts and minds on one accord. So today Oliver has pulled us together for a meeting about our, you know, performance that we're putting together with each other and let me tell y'all, I'm already tired. I'm like things exhausted because we have just been moving and moving and going and going the past couple months. It's just like we need, we all need a break. Hopefully we know what's next for the group today.
So I'm walking into this meeting. I want to be in a good spirit, but let's just be real. Y'all know I can't hide my facial expression. Well, worth a damn. A few weeks ago, after my event, my manager told me some things that I need to address about people in this group. However, this might not be where I wanted to do it or how I wanted to do it, but it seems like it's the only way that I can do it at this point. Good morning, y'all. How y'all doing? Thank y'all so much for waking up and coming to this meeting. I appreciate everyone for being here. Shout out to Rico with a K with a notebook and some notes. I know that's right. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I have bad news, like really, really bad news. And then I have good news. And then I have interesting news. So I'm gonna start with the bad news first. So the bad news is the Chasing the Beat April 25th event is canceled. Can I had to cancel it, huh? Is it care to elaborate? Like why I had to cancel mm -hmm. it? Does it matter? Yeah, that's important. No, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> Look at you, I'm, just playing. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Well, I had to cancel it, um, and I'm actually very like disappointed about it because we had spent time, we had found a nice venue. Um, it got canceled because I got booked for like a really huge job that I just couldn't like pass up on. Um, the city of Atlanta is like reopening due to COVID. Of course, you know, COVID had the whole city shut down and they're reopening like the city, like officially, officially, officially. And so the, um, their tourism bureau is hosting like a really big, like welcome back meeting where like all of their partners are coming in. So like State Farm and, um, the Coca-Cola people, the Sea Aquarium people, the Hilton hotels, like all these big people who they want to do business with are coming and they needed some entertainment to headline this big event and they asked the head nerd in charge to headline this. Great, great, great. So thank y'all so much. Um, no, thank you. But the good news is I'm inviting all of y'all to come perform with me and do a version of Chasing the Beat during my um, time that I'm performing. Y'all yeah. also supposed to scream! Oh my god, that's such great news! That's such great news! Now, okay, I told y'all, Miss Oliver always got an opportunity. That's why I love her. And for me to be a part of something celebrating my city, I, I don't know what to say. I'm so excited. I want everybody to be there. And I've already started like formulating how we can do this. So Troy and Cameron, you guys are hosts. Y'all still will be hosting. You and your dogs, I want your dogs there. I want your fashions there. I want everyone to be included. We're still formulating the show, but this is gonna be like a huge, 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 huge show. The stage is humongous. Trent will probably be like in contact with y'all more. It's gonna be so many, so many movers and shakers. I feel obligated, honestly, to like include y'all in on it because, um, why not? Like, I want to share share these things. There's going to be great people there, whatever, whatever, and they're very excited to see what we come up with, so. So Oliver's telling us about how big this event going to be, how it's going to be like for the city of, of Atlanta and all this extra stuff. So it's just like, okay, I really have to stop playing. Like, I got so many ideas that I want to do that I have been putting on pause. So of course, I'm going to make sure I take this serious because I just want everybody to look good when we're there. Now, of course. <laughs> Of course, of course. Um, I really want everything that we do to be filled with like really good energy. And I thought like the last time when we were all together in um, Tennessee in the cabins, like I thought we had really like let a lot of stuff go and was like moving forward in a positive space. But like since then, and I'm not even gonna fake the fun with y'all, like I know what's going on. I'm pretty sure y'all know what's going on. Y'all have heard things, we've all felt things. And so while we're here, before we start getting into this work, because the work is going to get into, it, it is. We're going to work regardless if we just want to lay it all out. Now, Oliver, didn't Willa just talk to you about this in the cabins? We were supposed to get together and talk business. Now, I feel like we're going to get into some mess. I don't feel like calling nobody out. Everybody knows. It, I mean, it's not even no secret at this point. Everybody knows because there's been phone calls going back and forth and all that stuff. People think I'm about to go off on people. And I really, I'm not about to go off on anybody. I just really don't understand how certain people say they support me 
and all they my friend, they're in my event, crying I'm so proud of my event, like, I'm so proud of my friend. But then you lied to my manager at the door and told him that you paid me for a ticket that you didn't pay for to get into my event, so you snuck in. Then you still owe me an outstanding balance for your shirt. And everyone who knows me, there's plenty of people in this room who has worked with me, and I have never been the type of person who's been pressed about money. I've always given discounts. Girl, just pay me when you can pay me, whatever. How much do you need? Dominique, oh, honestly, this has nothing to do with you because it's I not know, you. I know, but how much? I want him to pay his balance. No I'm tired of going back and forth. But I'm not arguing with I you, know, Dominique. I know, but this is this. But this Dominique, this has needed. nothing to do with you. It's not needed, though. Well, why, why is it not needed? So, so if you were to do work for somebody and they don't pay Troy. you, I say have Troy. called Troy. Say his name. I have Troy. called Troy, and Troy texted me, said I will call you back, and he has not called me back. So I have called Troy. So first of all, I can show you the text message that says that. Before we go there, because let me let me go. Let me tell y'all this real quick. This is the fake shit I be talking about. Because one, me and Jay went to Sam's Club a week and a half ago together. We did? It, no, what? Sh it? Shut it, shut it. Because, and I'm trying not to get mad because I'm two seconds, I'm just, I'm three seconds from walking out because I didn't come here for this. Ooh, ooh. I really didn't. Literally yesterday, I'm on a powwow with Willa on the phone, literally crying my eyes out because I'm tired. I've been working my ass off. I've been literally trying to push, I don't work my job anymore. I'm not getting $60,000 a year. I'm not making $1,000 a week how I was at my fucking job. So I'm really out here fucking hustling. Cry my eyes out because I'm fucking tired. Literally just told him the same thing, bitch. I'm literally tired boots. When you had the chance to ask me about the money, you could have asked me then. I didn't... Shh. I did not know about that until afterwards, Troy. I did not know about it until afterwards. Before all of this, you knew there was a balance. You could have asked me in the car. It's $65. Matter of fact, look at the tip that I gave you go toward his balance, because. Now y'all done see me go off. Y'all done see me lose my mind. Y'all done see me act a damn fool. But now I'm sitting here and I'm calm as hell having a conversation with you and you deflecting on everything else. It's not my fault that you're not working that job. You left that job voluntarily to go hustle. That has nothing to do with me. You've been avoiding my phone calls afterwards when I got to a point in which I was ready to communicate with you. And if it's just $65, why didn't you pay me the $65 when it happened? Because I originally told you 150. Then when I dropped it off, I, you said, oh, I'm about to cash out you right now. It was 150, I said, just give me 90. It took you two weeks to send me $45. Did you tell your therapist that you're sneaking in the shows and own people money but out flossing your restaurants and receipts and shit? Because I'm coming at you real calm. I'm not going off. I'm coming very respectful. And we could have had this conversation in private. But you didn't want to answer the phone. Tell you That's that why I he's said doing it. this because now he's defensive because he's listening a fool. I'm not. He, could have, he literally, he literally I'm could have not. that when I was in his party today while we Because I did not know, Troy. I just said I did not know until How after I had that conversation. Know? Because I did not handle any of my finances. Okay. I was told what balance needed to be well, paid. The $65 when I had a closeout been, meeting with my management, that's what was told. The $65 had been sent. I'm glad you felt the need to bring this up in front of everyone here to try to make me feel like an it asshole. Was, no, that to, wasn't I, even true. Like, you feel like, like I didn't want to pay you, so therefore, girl, you, you didn't. Have, you have them. You have. You them. did not. And it's Who, not even. How, how did I not want to pay? Okay. If you, at the end of the day, there are people in this room who has worked with me. At the money. end of the day, have I ever been pressed about being being paid on anything? Money. Well, since we're gonna air it all out, girl, it was money on the floor. I'm sorry. We don't need money on the floor. I know where to put it. Since we're gonna air it, pocket. Since, but listen though, wait. But since, since since we're gonna air it all out on the table, right? Since since I didn't pay him, I didn't want to pay him. I wonder if most of y'all in this room have been talked about by Jay because Jay makes it seem like he's a friend, but then when he gets upset and he gets in his feelings because things don't go his way, he begins to talk about everyone. Not only Drew, not only Oliver, not only, and, and yes, we all have, and yes, we mm -hmm. all have said something, but you be in people's face, and just how you said Whose face has I been shut in? Shut up! Because just how you said in Oliver's face and sat there and said, oh, you're gonna design for Oliver and you're gonna do all this for Oliver, but Oliver's fake, and Oliver did this, and you and Oliver, you should have did the, um, the spa day with Oliver because Oliver, um, because Oliver um, made you feel that way. He didn't acknowledge you. He was making it seem like it was all about him and he did this. You talked about Cameron. You talked about Drew because you got mad at Drew because you felt like Drew didn't pay you your money. Drew didn't do this and that and the third, but you went around and got on the phone and kind of everything else. When all the stuff that was going on in your house and I won't put your business out there. Oh, we put out there. My gas was on. I'm not that kind of friend. You literally, but you literally get out here and do all of this. You are not a friend to me. 
one. No, it's not going long. You're not. You're not. A, no, you're, you're, you're not a friend to. You're not a friend to anyone. And let me tell you. And have I called or talked to Drew? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. See, but see, but now and see, I'm being calm. Okay, I guess I think it's my turn because clearly he's had his turn with everyone else in the group. First of all, I didn't speak it to Jay's event because when I got to the door, the guy said that everyone that was a part of the group was already covered. So I didn't think anything of it to go ahead and pay the money then. Second of all, a shirt that I wore from him, baby, it was $20 that I owed you. But we're not gonna get into the things of the things that I said I wasn't gonna get into. But let me tell you something, baby. Oh, you $65 is nothing. I wasn't flossing money because I don't do that on Instagram. That's ghetto. I don't do half of the things that he said I was doing. He was just making up lies. No one talked about him. No one said anything. You're the one out here running your mouth about me in these streets. And it got back to me. So, baby, you thinking that was a surprise today, baby? I was already ready for you. Troy, you are deflecting. Because all the shit that you're saying makes absolutely no sense. One, never said that about Oliver. Did I say some shit about Oliver? Yeah. Did me and Oliver have a conversation? afterwards and I told him how I felt and I told him that I was wrong about certain things that happened. Yeah, I did. Me and Drew, none of y'all was fucking with Drew before the cabin trip. Nobody was talking to her except for Dominique. Everybody had cut her off. So please stop that extra all. Oh, I'm gonna do this, this, and this, this, and this, because this has nothing to do with you sneaking into my event. Okay, so I've tell me this, every, tell me this, because Rico, you were there I've for that conversation. Everything. So please be honest, and I know you don't like it in the I'm middle, but just, but, but just, just, but just, right. then why am I in? just be honest what was there, because you were there at that, during that conversation. Yeah, see, so, I get I didn't, you never I apologize. Didn't. I always No, 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 because I you're gonna, you I, can't I, sit there and say that I said something I didn't in front of everybody else. about nothing else. Oliver decides to open a door for Jay Amore to walk through and run his ass into some bullshit. What y'all are talking about can literally be handled with the phone conversation. And no shade, Jay Amore, I don't like that. I don't like what you just did. I don't like how you just tried to throw him out there saying he owe you money and he tried to sneak it to your event or some shit like that. If it's the truth, it's the truth. But weren't y'all just boys? Weren't y'all just friends? And okay, you heard? Hey, hey. No, 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 no. Because cause no, because everybody wants to make excuses. My thing is this: even when you heard some stuff was going on, if we supposedly have had some type of connection, no, you could, no. oh shit, I didn't do it, and you could have texted me. Shut up. That's why I'm, I'm okay, sick so, of it. This is some shit right here, yeah, bitch. Girl, not girl, y'all still coming from Troy? Troy, you ain't paying bills. Girl, these girls ain't they ruthless. I thought this this could have been handled in a little group text. Jay, you can text message about if I'm sleeping with somebody, but you can't text them and say you want your coins. What kind of business this is, but I'm sitting here listening. I wish I would have saved my biscuit because this is some good shit. I do want to say this. this. To be quite honest, I'm not going to hold y'all. And I really wanted to do what I just did today one time so we can all be like on one accord about it. Well, I will say this. Just in their defense, Drew did get in a bad car accident last night. Okay. She got a really bad car accident. And then Willa, we all know Willa's situation where she was trying to build her clientele and things like that. And she had two clients today early in the morning that she could not switch around. I'll call them. I'll Thank call you. them. Because I, I was going to... Slam the hammer, but I won't. I won't slam. I'll put it back in my toolbox. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, all hearts and minds clear. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. I gotta get ready to start planning this party. Okay. I'm not even pissed off. To be honest, I'm hurt. I don't open myself up to nobody. Not a single person in the Fab Six supported me the way they either said they were going to, or was even there. I've done all this shit for y'all. I flew back early for my grandmother's funeral to help one of y'all with y'all's whole entire passion, only for you to disrespect me and my family, the shit I was going through, everything in my house, in my face, walk the hell out. Then you snuck into my show. The rest of y'all did not come. I have been there for all of y'all. Anytime y'all said y'all needed anything, Troy, you have sat on my couch. We have cried on each other's shoulder about numerous things that we have been going through. I guess it's the Fab Five, but it's only the Fab Six if y'all can benefit from me. Because at this point, that's exactly what it feels like. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Bitch, the shit and hit the fan. I just don't know what to say, but this is the shit I'll be talking about. Y'all gonna see it for yourself. Every single time. Don't let this motherfucker see you sweat at this point. At this motherfucking point, right? That's the shit I was telling y'all about. Y'all didn't want to believe me when me and him was going through his situation. He is not a friend because that bitch been in my house plenty of times.
I don't think that I, I want you to the show anymore. That's the shit I was telling y'all about. Y'all didn't want to believe me when me and him was going through his situation. He is not a friend because that bitch been in my house plenty of times. Yeah. And girl, I'm, I'm trying not to steal some other tea that he had been seeing on the trip. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, we, we already, already talked, talked about this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We had talked about that all the trip. Oh, oh, that was yeah. 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 oh, yeah. yeah. Because just like she had but, the balls to say that to me, I was hoping she had the balls to say that She did. No, she don't. But she had so much to say about me not saying that. He said he was going to say it. We know each other very well. You know what's crazy, though? Me listening to that in there, if you couldn't get through, if you felt like you couldn't get through the Troy, Bitch, we all a unit at this point. We got a group chat together. Mm -hmm. Bitch, we talking to each other every day. You could have reached out to Dominique. You could send a reminder on yes. cash. Right. You should have had a request. You could have replied in that group and say, Troy, call me. We all got so close to where we got a damn Instagram group chat where we laughing every day. And if somebody got an event, they'll post a fly and we back and forth. You couldn't have said to Troy in that group, Troy, uh, hit me up. Or if you felt like he wasn't. Uh, responding to you, you couldn't have said, Dominique Central hit me up. You could have said that in the group. It's this pattern. I don't know. You, you, bridge after bridge, you burning the bitches. London Bridge is, is falling down, child. Um, but anyway, nevertheless, me, Rico wants this. to, I love you too. Mm -hmm. Um, Rico wants to, um, address something really quick. Nothing bad, but he just wants to say no, something really quick. No, because we're on good terms. Okay, what's up? I know there's a, this rumor that's been going around that people have been saying that the whole me saying that I stuck whatever with your boyfriend. Right. That never came out of my mouth. That was a text between Jay, Carl, I and another person. I had a text message. So, I want you to know, that has never been anything that That's what made my said. antennas go up with him. Okay, because sure. I, I, every, everything between me and you has really just been a full-blown yes. miscommunication. Yes. So, since we own a good turn, I just wanted to personally, as a man, because I know how relationships are, and yes. knowing what you've gone through oh, with him yeah. and everything else, Yeah, I want you to know, personally, I never have said anything. Just the Not emotion. Yeah, <laughs> bitch! <laughs> but it's all love. It's love. Yeah, it's love. Girl, like, you just apologize. Like, you just apologize. I don't need not another apology from you, girl. Let me hug your neck, get you the fuck out my face, cause bitch is cold. I know y'all see me. I, love you. I'm, I'm out of my I gotta go, I gotta get a See you later, See you later. Bye, babe. See you later. Bye, I'm good, I'm still on. All right, oh, 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 did we lock it up? Oh, I love y'all, bye. Bye. Yeah, we leave there. Bye. 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 And then he wanted it. Hold on. Wait. I don't even fuck you. Let me wear my circle like on some real shit. I don't. I mean, you sit up in here, that shit today, oh, you trying to embarrass me? No, it's not about fucking embarrassing. It's about the, it's, you stuck into my shit. You sat here at my show, was crying. Oh my God, I'm so proud of my friend, but you crying, but you sitting there and fake doing fake shit. And at the end of the day, everybody in this bitch know I will get my shirt off That's my true. back, yeah. anybody. My sh my gas was all coming up to this event. And you sat there fucking like, you knew that my shit was going through, you knew the shit that I was going through, you still sat there and snuck into my shit. Anybody and everybody can say, oh, Jay, I don't got it. Who just come, I'll work it out. I didn't give a fuck. There were people in my event that didn't pay for tickets because they told me I don't have it. I said, I'd rather, I'd rather you be there because you're one of my people that support me. I would have said the same shit to you, but you got to that fucking door and lied. And then you want to sit up here and play a whole injured victim party. Uh, you trying to, I'm not trying to embarrass you. It's about what's fucking right is right. And I let you in my fucking circle when I don't do that shit. When I came into this group, I told you I wasn't fucking friends with Kenya because I wasn't fucking close with Bitch, I let you in my house. You have been in my house. I don't know how we fucking talk. You fucking sit there and disrespect me. 
and it took everything in me not to go off and I started respecting that nigga that's why I didn't flip because y'all know I can fucking flip y'all know I can flip and I was calm as fuck because I still love that fucking nigga but that's how the fuck you treat me I don't even deserve that shit like no for real I don't No, listen. I don't deserve that shit what's the real shit I would give my trauma back for anybody and I've never been pressed about no shit like that I know but listen Jack the thing with you know how to do this uh, is all you gotta do take a ring because it's not even working all that upset about it. it really is now Jay might have not handled things the best way but it seems like he really cares for Troy but Jay you said it yourself you can't call everybody your friend and at this moment, this is a 360 moment. Jay, first of all, you look you look great right now, by the way. I don't know what you do to your skin, but you look amazing. I don't want you to let, let this get you down. Because I've had the same I experience. Know, it's just the, I know. It's, it's, it's the fact that like, it, I, I really let this, I do not let people in my, I do not let people in my circle, and I let this get you in my circle. And, and listen to me, Jay. I don't know you and Troy's business. I don't know the ins and outs. None of us know. Only y'all know, but I will say this. Because I've had the same experience coming into this this friend group, and I've been in your same shoes, giving, giving discounts, giving favors. You think you, you think you, you think you forming friends, and then something happens. Again, I don't know. The only thing I'm gonna tell you is now you know what you need to know. You set your boundaries. You set your, you set your expectations. Hopefully, this lets you know with even business and friends what you got to do. I had to learn the hard way too myself. I'm, I've cried those same tears that you cried in this group about some of the same people, it's okay. It's okay. Let it be a lesson learned. And if the love that you and Troy had was really true, as you see me and that whole, me and that whole still good today, give it some time, do what you need to do for yourself. Let it be lessons learned. Let it be, truly let it be lessons learned on how you conduct yourself in all, in any situation. I know it hurts. Take your time to breathe. And just give it to the universe, give it to God, give it to whoever, and it'll fix itself. Y'all got an ugly cry, but <laughs> I'm listening to Oliver. And you know what a wise man once said, stop calling everybody your friend. The word friend is earned. Wait, that was me. So maybe I should just took my own advice from the very beginning, but I tried to open up. Lesson learned. That's all I'm gonna say at this point. Oh, you need to look at my It's okay. It's okay. Put one in my booty. Y'all are so lesbians. Oh my god. Y'all are silicone. silicone. That is silicone. This is not silicone. That is a butt injection. That is not this real. Bitch, that bitch heavy, though. Look at that. Bitch that, heavy. Right. that bitch heavy. Right. Y'all, guess what, though? You, you know what it comes from? We, we got him some crap. <laughs> And fly into the Dominican Republic, so go ahead and get that. Oh, bitch, please. Bitch, please. If I can fly to the Dominican Republic, to get your ass out of an orphanage. Come on. The small part is this way. I'm trying nah, to we ain't leaving yet. We hanging with Oliver for a minute. No, y'all hoes got to go. Oh, we hoes got to go, so let's go this way. <laughs> old lady, old lady gang down the street. I love you. <laughs> Bye. up today for my boy Ike for his skate single release party. He releasing his new single, Hope He Can Fight. So I'm so proud of my brother right now. And I have not skated in years. So I hope I don't bust my ass. If I do, I'm gonna be sending an invoice to Miss Ike Alicia Lachey. <laughs> Now this is so refreshing. This takes me back to my childhood. Going around the rink, looking cute, you know, with my little sparkly skates on. But I look to my left and notice, Kendra, girl, get your ass up. You got your titties about to fall out. Your shit flipped to the back. I ain't gonna speak on your wig, cause we know how that go. But bitch, this is not the place or the time for that. Get your ass up, girl. Now see, one thing about when you got a lot of baby daddies and shit in one room together. See, I was skating with my other baby daddy, honey. Aaron got in his feelings, honey. Don't came up here, honey. Don't trip me, and now I'm on the ground, and you trying to help me up. Did you just get in your feelings and trip me, baby? Damn.
Help me up. Hell, get me off this floor, Aaron. Fine. Hey, I'm here. I single release skate party and it's okay, like, I love shit like this, and I'm glad that somebody, you know, wanted to do something where we get to move our body, and we get to hear his new single. Time to run it off. I wake up. so elated because my song is about to drop soon and I just wanted to take a moment to celebrate myself since I never do but you know I didn't want it to be too formal I wanted to go back to a place that brought me joy you know so I rented out the skating rink and we just gonna have a good old-fashioned single release skate party I invited all of the girls they are here and I'm just ready to have a good time single. It feels really good. This one is so different to me because I feel like with my first one, it was kind of experimental, you know, uh, using all of my years as a student of the game and coming out with something. And with my second one, I feel like that's where I learned as an artist, my presence on the track and my delivery. So I feel like with this third one, all of that stuff that I've learned, um, I put it into action with the emotional aspect, the musical aspect, everything in one. And I think y'all are going this is for me. Everything that y'all have been missing from RV is in the song. Woo! Without further ado, oh my god, for the first time publicly, my third RV studio single, Hope He Can Fight. Period. Oh. Oh. It's a little bad. 
good, you know, whatever, I hope we can fight. And Ike is talented or whatever. I'm just glad that me and him were able to get to common ground at this point and I can come to his events now and we don't get into it and bump heads with each other. But no, Ike is a great person and he definitely is talented. <laughs> describe the, the emotions that came over me during this night you know um this was literally my baby me presenting it to the, the world well not the world but you know my friends my closest people and i've gotten rave reviews so it's good to see that it's been confirmed that i have a masterpiece and i have so much support it was nothing but love in the room and i wouldn't trade that for anything you know being a part of this group it has taught me a lot you know uh, i'm glad i met some new friends, some people that I can call brother, people I can call sister. Uh, it's been a wild ride, but I think we all learned a lot of lessons during the times. Um, I'm just thankful for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I've always, I think my last couple of years I've been kind of struggling in the friend department. So to come amongst a group of people and be able to y'all adding pieces to me, I really appreciate it. Thank y'all for accepting me. Thank y'all for welcoming me. I look up to all y'all. I think all y'all are talented. I think everybody in here that knows me, uh, I, I look at y'all as moguls. We are the new generation. It's our time. And thank y'all for being here so much. Thank you. Here, here, look. Look, no, 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 okay, all right. You're always late. Why are you always late? Why are you always late? Why are you always late? How you doing? Back out, back out. Oh, buddy, I am excited. Why am I excited? Because I haven't invited nobody to my new apartment and I wanted to bring Dominique in. You feel what I'm saying? I wanted to get us out of his head. I know he's been going through a lot. There's some things on the blogs. Um, and not only that, we have a booking in Birmingham. He's gonna show me his city and we all turn up. Uh, but yeah, let's do it. Okay, I know you want to get saucy, but what for? Not saucy. What do you mean? I know the skin rig was crazy. Cause of your home girl dropping this song. I'ma walk her like a doll, like the doll she grew. Should I walk her like a doll, like the doll she grew? Will I walk her like a doll, like the doll she grew? Fuck that shit, fuck that bitch, I'ma walk that hoe. Oh, who are you talking about, Kendra? Who else? I thought she was talking about, you know, who? Saucy Santana, you know, walking like no, a- No, she's talking about the baddest bitch like the rest of them. Like, what's the point in doing stuff so like how, that? So, no, I gotta really ask you a question. How does it feel having two diss tracks? It feels fabulous, and you know? You don't like, even really. do music. I don't, you but don't I'm even... doing it now. Stay oh. tuned, cause we're gonna put an end to all this bullshit, bitch. Ooh. Now, so out of all that drama and shit, What's been going on with you and your dad? Because I know we talked about oh, that in the cabins. God. Yeah, pop your shot. Yeah, I'm not ex I won't expect that. Okay. Because I've been working on my relationship with my family, so I just want to pass that energy around. Okay. I don't know if you know, but my, my father's Muslim. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you told one. me that before. That's one. Two, um, he, just the way he was raised, he doesn't believe in the gay lifestyle. When I went to Miami for my uncle's funeral, yeah. he had a conversation with me. He's like, yo, I'm really proud of what you're doing, but I don't condone. And I'm so sorry to hear about that. And of it. Because I know we were talking about it in the cabins and you had to go take care of that. Mm -hmm. but, you know, you held it down like a like G. On, yeah, and it's really because going there, I, I just seen the impact that he had for everybody else. You right, feel me? Right. And every lesson that somebody came up and said and, you know, talked to us about, mm -hmm. it was the same thing that, you know, I learned from him. So that just like, it makes me want to like leave a lasting impression just like he did. So you are. People are gonna remember your name. And despite the shit they talk about me, they gonna remember my name yeah, too. Yeah, So that's that's what our purpose is. I do I do wanna I, I wanna get into some things. Okay, with what's you up? Because I have noticed lately 
You've been, you know, you've been real rah rah. Are you okay? I'm Let's okay. start there. I'm okay. I'm okay. I've been better. Okay, that's a real big question I want to ask, but I don't want to like. I mean, you can ask it. You sure? I was yes. gonna be very personal. Yes, you could ask me anything. Okay, so I seen on TCB or okay. it was somewhere. T knew somebody that you and Mr. Ant have officially broken up. Honestly, I was waiting till I heal and to mm -hmm. answer your question, we aren't together anymore. Um there was a decision that was made mostly on his part, but I'm gonna be real with you. Once the shit hit the ceiling. It was made on my part, and I ended all communication. So, yeah, I'm single, no ring, like, it ain't no ring, Wayne. Ain't no <laughs> you, ring no more. You, you so, do have a little different glow. I know, it's I went like a outside. Sexy glow. It's a little yes. like, okay. Yes, yes, I'm, I've been feeling myself. I haven't been this confident or like, feeling whole, I love mm -hmm. myself more. I get up, I have a different routine, I work out. Okay. I pray, you know, I center myself and I'm really trying to grow, mm -hmm. you know. With me turning 30 last year, I'm gonna be 31 this year. And I gave somebody eight years of my life. Oh, wow. My relationship is officially no more. We've been through a lot in the last eight years, but recently it's been a major disconnect. And with elevation comes separation. And I have to continuously remind myself of that because I'm elevating. And if somebody falls off, I got to let them fall because the sky's the limit on my end and I'm headed to the stars. It's time for you to be selfish, bro. Like I'm not even fronting. It's time for you to really think about yourself, make your dreams happen. Yeah. You know, I, I see a lot of you helping everybody and every little thing. And oh, I know somebody that can do this. Da, da, da. Well, do you know somebody that can help you with you? You feel me? That's like, right. And this is really that time. And I, I just want to see you happy, bro. I yeah. want to see whoever comes in your life, whether it's a friend, hoe, you know, boo daddy or boyfriend. Boo daddy and hoe. Whatever the case may be. No. I, I just want you to still remain selfish at your boundaries to make sure that you're good and yeah. your mind is good. Yeah. Because I've been light. I've been feeling very light. Like, I've been feel, feeling very, like, carefree. Like, I'm just living life really just smiling day by day. I've really been nervous about you. Like, yeah. Hearing that Dominique and Ann broke up, like, they were the example of black gay love for me. You feel me? I know that they still love each other and I know that they're still cool and things of that nature, but this is the time for Dominique to be selfish. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you've been in a relationship for a long period of time. Now you can do what you want to do, how you want to do it, when you want to do it. So it's going to be okay. You have a story mm -hmm. that people need to see. The world sees Dominique the bad bitch, Dominique the dog groomer, Dominique mm -hmm. the rah, 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 rah. But Dominique, you were there for me when I literally, I was in Atlanta with nobody, bro. I got into a relationship. You were there by my side. I'll never forget the day my air mattress broke and I was in Walmart crying and you called me, what you doing? And I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get an air mattress, but I don't have enough. And you sent me the money so that I had an air mattress, bro. Like that to me means stuff. That's why I am as loyal as I am to you because you just always had my back, and that's what it's always gonna be. We ain't gonna do no crying shit. I can't do this. Oh, okay. Let's do this, shots. So, what's up with your um listening party? <gasps> oh shit! Oh my god, Dominique. What's going on? I'm scared and nervous as fuck. Okay. I have a lot of stuff going on in the same week, but I have to get this album done and preview it. And everybody is okay on it. Everyone's voice is on it. Um. And so my special treat to you guys is a private listening session. We're pulling a Kanye. Okay. I am about to host a private album listening session just for this group. And it's at a special location that I'm really excited about. I want them to hear this new music, uh, vibe with it, and also, you know, just get their, their opinions on a couple of tracks and stuff like that. I'm ready to get you. this world into Top Top. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and they gonna feel it. Yeah, so you ready to go to Birmingham? Let's do it. Okay, Birmingham. And we done. Okay. Mm. All right, come on. Let's All right. get to Birmingham. Let's we'll take our shit up later. Yes. And I'm gonna hit this pole later too. You know how to get on the pole. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. Hey, how you What's doing? What's going on? So nice of me. Party. Hey, how you doing, Quiz? Be Aaron. 
So the nerd has been working very hard for many years with his music, with his content, with his social media presence. And I feel like it's finally the time for me to grow up, move out of the Honeycutt Hideaway into a bigger place, a home, something I can own. So this home is worth like $600,000. Girl, I can't afford none of that. Not a lick, not a dime. However, at the rate I'm going, I know that I soon will be able to. And if I put myself in the place to see it, experience it, feel it, it's gonna give me the inspiration I need to get my money together, get my finances together, get my business together, and get my own home. Let the church say ka -ching. All right, welcome to the home. Gonna let you guys go Ooh. in first. Oh my God, this is a fortress. Yes, cathedral ceilings. Very tall, Ooh. very high. Got bedrooms down here. Would it come with the appliances? Yes, most of the time they will come with the appliances. A cabinet in there. Oh. So you got just enough space See, yeah, for this cookies. Is, this, is, this is more than enough barbecue. space. To barbecue. Oh, that's incredible. Well, who's gonna clean this motherfucker? Uh, yeah. I'm not cleaning shit. <gasps> this is the main living quarters. Bitch. I feel like Rapunzel. Stainless steel appliances. This will be like an office and a little half bath on the side. Good morning. Is this the master? This is the master? Oh, I would eat this master room up with one bag alone. <laughs> Oh, the bathroom is but you got extra bedrooms. There's only one you. But it'll be him and I. We'll eat. We'll but that small one that you said it'll be an office. They go you a little mini closet for your bags and stuff like that. You like the shower quad? You could be. <laughs> the home was absolutely beautiful. It was like perfect. Now the master bedroom, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, child, listen, this shit is smaller than my room right now down to the Honeycutt downtown, girl. Bitch, I come with shoes, hats, clothes, glasses, rings, lights, mics, computers, hair pieces. I'll throw this bitch out the frame. How much, so this home is half, about a, over half a million dollars. Mm -hmm. How much do you think one would have to make a year in order to like support this type of home? Let me see how far off I am. Well, first, I am not a loan officer. Okay. So I do not handle the money. However, there are multiple things that goes into it. Mm -hmm. It's not just how much money you make, it's also the debt that you have. Because mm -hmm. they're gonna look at debt to income ratio. My thing is like, there's so many people, like, young people like myself who've been able to create their own sources of revenue, their own income, but like they don't know about all this other stuff that you have to do, like getting an accountant, making sure you save your receipts, separating your bank accounts, making sure that everything is itemized, coded the right way. So like I'm trying to clean up my, I'm trying to clean up all my taxes, clean up all my like little stuff. But we're definitely, we're gonna follow up with this. I'm gonna reach out to a lender friend of mine so that we can have a meeting and then we can sit down and ask those financial questions. Cause like I said, I'm here to assist you with finding the home and you know, finding the things that you're needing and trying to get you the best value for the home. I'm just now learning this. I'm not upset about it because I had to learn it. However, I know I need to get very serious if I plan on getting up out of the honey cut and owning my own home one day. So like, <laughs> what is, what it, how do you feel like us looking at houses and stuff now? Would you wanna move into a house with me? <laughs> with me? <laughs> Quest is my best friend. Quest is really my best friend and I love him dearly. However, I'm not gonna wait on Quest. I'm not, I cannot, I cannot and I will not. If I can discipline myself and do what is necessary to get what it is that I want, him being a grown man older than me can also do the same thing as well. I know that one day this is gonna be mine. I just want my friend to come along with me, but he gotta do what he gotta do in order to join in on it, you know? Hey, Trent. Hey, Ollie, how are you? What's the tea? Just finished looking at a house. Oh, come on, houses. Trying to, child, trying to. All right, I got some bad news and I got some good news. First. What is it? 
So the entire ATL performance is postponed. The May 5th show. Talk to Amanda, one of the one of their head nerds in charge is sick. Girl. So I get a phone call from Trent letting me know that unfortunately the city of Atlanta and Fayette were no longer happening because their CEO is in the hospital. And instead of doing it with him not being there, they would rather postpone it to later on this year or next year. Fuck, I canceled one event to do this event. And now I really only have like two weeks to come up with something new. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But I'ma do it. Oh, you just wait, watch, and you will see. But bitch, I'ma go home and cry right now because I'm frustrated like, God! <laughs> this is a lot. This is a lot. And I'm in a nice neighborhood, I can't even scream. Hi, my name is De'Aaron Ziegler, your Georgia Realtor. Atlanta is a tough and competitive market, so do yourself a favor and get a trusted agent like myself. My offices are located in the heart of Midtown off Peachtree Street. Don't hesitate to give me a call. Also, I have a sweet referral if you refer someone and they purchase with me. Thanks, I can't wait to hear from you. What's up, everybody? I am R. Wayne, the CEO of RWYN Creative Management. Are you an artist, a musician, a model, a content creator? Do you think it's time for management? Let us help you move your career to the next level. Reach out to us at our website, rwyninc.com. I can't wait to work with you. God, today is the day that people finally get to hear the music that I have been working on for the past year. I'm excited to share this new music, but what they don't know is I'm basing the first single off of their reactions. I wanted to bring everyone back to this location. The last time we were here, we had a devastating moment. I'm not here to start no drama. I'm not here to do no fight. I'm just hoping that they have enough respect for me, my art, and my music, and my time and money, and we'll get into the drama bullshit some other time. But this ain't it, because I'm paying for this building. Next. Now, Troy, I hope you ain't got no tripods. And Kendra, I hope you ain't close to no chairs. Because, baby, when I enter this building, I have got to send up a prayer, because you never know what's going to happen. I'm here at Rico's listening party and I'm uber excited for him. The people have been waiting and Rico is excited just as I am. Pull up on the opposite. We got a problem. I know goddamn well this is the wrong address. I know fuck well this is not the right place. This can't be the right place. I mean at this point, am I being pumped? Am I being tricked? Am I I am not going in that building. Pull up. Okay, looks very familiar. Walk in. Bitch! This is the same place last year I was out here having a whoopie ass at the damn down there at the messy brunch, bitch. Girl, I'm praying that tonight none of that resurfaces and none of that happens here. Because, baby, I don't like somebody that's already in this building and we just praying that they can keep their cool at night so I can keep my cool too. We just don't want any motherfucking reaction of what happened last year in this building again today. Jesus name.
All right. Hello, everybody. Hey. Hola. The most important part about an album is the visuals. And no one has seen the Top Talk album cover. Mm. And you guys are literally the very first people wow. to see it. So inside of your bags, just wait, let me finish. <laughs> you look like some little kids. <laughs> Why? I was ready. Inside of your bags, there is a bottle of wine. Oh. I need for you guys to pull it out. And that has something on it. Oh. 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 Is that a Oh, oh my God. God. That's the okay. official cover. That's the official cover. Yeah. Um, so basically, yeah. I just wanna, I love this. So like the story yeah. behind Top Talk is literally Greek. me on my journey to be the person that I want to be. Um, so I may not have that body yet, <laughs> you know, but we're gonna get it. I may not have that money yet. I may not have that mic that I want yet, uh -huh. but I'm gonna get it. Um, also, you, you know, I'm battling our, my demons. You know, the Lord is holding me up, oh, anger's holding me up. I said, just the bottom. Sorry. Oh, y'all don't know how to saw food. I saw food. Being that we're here at the album listening session of uh, Top Talk, I wanted y'all to kind of step inside of my head. Mm -hmm. um, so like, you know, I, whenever I need to get in a vibe to write, I get my liquor, I get my weed, or blunt, let me not say that, I get my yes, blunt. Uh, my favorite chips are in there, my favorite kind of cookies are in there. Love I'm you, also starting a beer Caroline. Is yes. And the different flavors are gonna be the names off of the album, period. Um, even the ladies, I put beard oil in. I can't wait to put it on my beard. <laughs> 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 See, if y'all got the beard, y'all can put it on my beard tonight. Before, before they eat the coop, you know, just put it on a beer. Yeah. So, you know. It smells good. good. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> warming up. <laughs> you know you want to make. Can I get everybody yeah. to stand up for two seconds? Yeah, I'm going to say that. Rico, you know I got a bad leg. Yeah. Check this real quick. Oh. Check this out. Thank Top Talk is all about elevation. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about becoming better than what you were before. It's mm -hmm. about becoming self aware. So, before we even get into this shit, I just wanted to congratulate everybody in this room. Dominique, you're about to host Boss Fade Awards. I mean, yeah. what's Troy, you just relaunched, um, your, you have a website or something like that on now, right? I didn't see that now. Here, yeah. I, you just charted number, what, 27 on iTunes? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Cameron, your PR work, you taking Eli, you know, further shit like that? Yeah. Everybody give it up for Cameron. Thank you. Aaron, your album charted on Wait, iTunes, right? What number? Please state it. Even then, up there, child, number five. Yes. Yeah. Lil Kendra. Uh -huh. Now, bitch, you've been winning left and right. Uh -huh. Congratulations uh -huh. to your organization and congratulations yeah. to everything that you're about. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Wayne, I want to That's congratulate you, bro, because you're about uh -huh. to come out with your own shit. You Let's go. Yeah. Wow. Great way Mr. Though. Rico was nominated for Best Rapper at the Boss Baby Awards. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo. Um, Jay, I don't want to call you out, but I know that you got big deals and shit like that coming out that you don't want people to know about. Ooh, we can talk about them now. <laughs> Contracts are signed. Um, I just signed a contract with BET. Come on, Bitch, oh, yeah. oh, you're on syndicated television. That's Ooh. something that nobody can take away from you. Oh, that's period. And Miss Willie, you slaying these bitches' heads left and right? Left and right. So yeah. that is what Top Talk is about. So if we can it. raise those motherfucking I love it, y'all. And let's toast to top yes. top excellence. Yes. yes. Beautiful top people, black yes. excellence. Yes. The gas, the gas. And let's say this one. Gay, 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 gay. You know, I'm excited for Rico because it's been a long time in the making. And, you know, I've been waiting to hear these songs, you know. So hopefully we are getting an album very soon. But tonight, since he's actually letting us sit in and listen to a few songs, I'm actually excited to see what it's going to sound like. Uh, 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 ever since I stepped foot in two six, I've been walking around popping my shit. Uh, uh, now I'm popping and they see the grind ain't stopping. They all up under my dick. I fuck good, I smoke good like you should. You niggas only hating cause I'm doing what you wish you could. And now I'm not aggressive, nigga, just misunderstood. I gotta be on my shit and show these niggas what's good. Same dude, same heart, don't play me. The only thing changes now you gotta pay me how you sucking with my dick on your wall if you ain't say it then don't say it at all if the real go and pick up the call then the real niggas none at all uh, i'm just trying to get you niggas to see your opinions don't matter to me huh. if it goes down if you want to go real as fuck if you want to know this beat that beat kill them all with a heavy load it's down if you want to go real as fuck if you want to know that this beat that, that beat kill them all with a heavy flow Fuck you. 
to the money. Fuck you, fake fucks. You niggas be acting funny. Be eating these beats. My pockets is getting chubby. A stingy motherfucker, you can't say nothing from me. Yo, knock, knock. Tearing at your dough. Gotta hate it, to love it. The way they paying me for mo. Yen, pesos, and netta, a cheddar. As long as you paying, you could call it whatever. To perform, and if it's trying to come out of the storm, and this sex is better than porn, somebody point them to the best ass eater. Your boyfriend in the room. I just want to say something real quick. I appreciate every person that's inside of this room for being here. Y'all have inspired me in so many ways. Even the new people. You felt on I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you guys have really inspired me. Um, even if it's a little confidence that I need that day, or you know, seeing your wigs, I'm like, oh, bitch, I want to get my hair done like that. Like everybody in this room has really inspired me. Oliver, no shade. They make us few. Not they, but you know, the internet make us few a lot. But I have learned so much contracts and professionalism. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Troy, same thing. Dominique, same thing. Jay, same thing. All these goodie bags was made by um, Jay's new event planning business that he's going to be starting. Yes. Party yes. Bits, buy a more. Yes. It's Party Bits, buy a more. <laughs> I, I love it. I'm spilling the whole tea, the beans. Right. Um, but that's thing. People are dying every day. People find out that they're sick every day. Okay? And at any instant, in any moment, one of us in this motherfucking room can be gone. And all that hate and trauma and negativity and dumb bullshit ain't gonna mean shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying before y'all leave here, make amends. All I'm saying is take a step. Say hello if you didn't say hello when you walked inside of this room. Ask somebody if they're okay because you don't know what anybody is going through. Yeah, somebody could be true. losing somebody right now, but yeah. they're in this fucking room, and we deciding to have attitudes and act like they don't exist. So I love y'all. Oh, now nah, you can't. You know I like oh, it. Oh, oh, so much right, please, because I'm just something that makes me extremely proud of Rico is that his last album it was very. It gave like straight boy vibes almost, but this one, I can tell he's opened up, he's comfortable in his sexuality, and he's just living his best life. If you hating that I'm popping, you doing the wrong, now that, that's the anthem. Hands that, Rico with a K, you should put me on that track. I could have had a whole verse. If you message in my classes, never mind. That's my, that's the shit though. Overall, honey, the finishing project, the album, Rico, you did your thing, baby. And trust me, I know it'd be a lot of hard work. I'm loving the features. Thank you for having me as one of your features as well. And it, it's like, 
did a real, real good job. Like, I'm fucking with this album, for real. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead. It's the... this feedback from everyone it's making me excited to just drop this bad boy put it out there so the world can hear everything and uh, they are giving me the confidence that I need honestly because I'm scared shitless to put this album out y'all there's more eyes on me than it's ever been in my whole entire life and I just know that there's more people uh, waiting for me to fail but just to know that I have the support and the love of these people here this kind of it gave me that encouragement that I needed so Thank you, y'all, so much. I really do love y'all. Chasing the beat. I was in the bed one night scrolling around YouTube and I stumbled across Terrell's one million show where he celebrated him having one million subscribers and I was like, oh my God, we could do something like this. All of us are performers. All of us are visual artists. We can come together, put together different showcases, different performances, weave it together with some little fun little candy moments in between and do our own celebration of us chasing the beat. And I was like, yes. I called my friends up at Frame 88 who helped produce the Turns Out with T.S. Madison show on Fox Soul. They agreed to it. I signed the check, it cashed, and we are now here to do the thing. Thank you, Oliver. I thought that hoe would never shut up. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Tag Diddy, and we are here on the mic tonight at Chasing the Beat. Now listen, Chasing Atlanta is one thing, but with Chasing the Beat, you guys are seeing the real things of the things, baby. Today is the day that we come together with the group to put on our final showcase with each other. Listen, we're in the studio. We got big cameras. We got all the things of the things for this production. And I just want to thank Oliver for this opportunity because it's just like, yikes, like you really have us feeling like stars. I think that today is gonna to be amazing. Although there were some changes, we aren't performing for the city anymore, but we are still doing something big, and I'm ready to see how it's gonna go. Stay tuned, because Chasing the Beat is here, honey. You already know who it is, the last OG standing. It's me, don't, oh, sorry. I said, I'm oh, sorry, it's the last, oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta. You already know who it is. <laughs> so I'll pull up to the studio where we're, Filming everything as far as for the chase and the beat that Oliver have put together and it's a dope venue like he has the real big camera crew there, you know, just to kind of show everything that we got going on. So I'm very proud of Oliver. I was kind of skeptical on what's going to happen, but I'm very happy for him right now. <laughs> Give it up for Cameron! Give it up for Cameron! Hey, Cameron. 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 What you getting? Ooh, yes, yeah. I don't know that jambalaya sister. So it's finally here, baby. Chasing the beat event. Now, life for me has been kind of hectic lately because I've been working my ass off sun up to sundown. But I always have time to come through for my people when it's time to come on through, baby. So since I'm not really an artist, I thought it was probably cool for me to come on through with the meal, honey. So your girl burned up some jambalaya, baby. I cooked some shrimp. They began with a pee or something like that. I don't know what kind of shrimp that was, but they was fine. And I had some grits for the kids. And baby, one thing about it, nobody was not satisfied with the food that I made. Oh, there you go. Sister! You're like a ghetto ass future robo cop, bitch. Oh, wow. <laughs> Girl, now my sister did this. This is a production. 
Bitch, I'm ready to cut the rug, cut up. Me and Troy done did our little thing. Y'all about to be entertained. Do you hear me? So are you ready for today? I'm here. I'm tired, but I'm here. What's going on? Just been a long week. Just got, had to go to the hospital the other day. For what? Blood pressure. Girl, are you, pre you pregnant? Girl, Is it Wayne the Pain's baby? <laughs> You're a mess. It oh! Hey Troy, give me two seconds. <laughs> give me two seconds. I got something for you though. I got See, we had matched without I, even. Oh, I said, I said, yes, I'm Are y'all ready for y'all performing? We sure is. I can't wait to see it, girl. She's a, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So if, if it's not Wayne the Pain's baby, is it is it that man's baby? Is it that man? Hey, who is your daddy? <laughs> I don't sleep with. Hey, me. baby. I don't open my lips to make me. Unless they got a check. You better know. What I know that's saying. right. But how you doing, big pussy? Girls been a long day. Literally, as I'm getting in the car, they let me know that my cousin died. He coded. Oh, and it's literally like three months after my aunt died. He's, he literally died the same way like she died. So literally, as I'm packing up to get ready to come to set today, I get a phone call from my grandfather once again, letting me know that one of my favorite older cousins of all time, who we know as man, has passed away. The money that has been spent, the time that has been put into this, I cannot let any of them down. Well, I'm here. Yeah. We're gonna have a good day. I'm living through all the excitement. Right. We're all here creating. Yes. Doing what we do best. Keep you in good spirits. It is keeping me in good spirits, honestly. Is. Okay, now get up and show me where we going. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Come on. Come on. Where we going? Yes. Which way we going? Come on, Matrix. Blue pill or red pill? Welcome to all bottoms and tops. It's your boy Tag Diddy. Y'all already know what it is. We in the building tonight. Wait, calm down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. No, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, yeah. Who live? This is so good. Get it wet. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Who live? This is so good. Get it wet. Oh, God. Y'all need that again. Yeah. These bitches want that smoke, uh, yeah. These niggas want that smoke, uh, yeah. These bitches want that smoke. Line these niggas up, about to smoke them like some dope, uh. Now, I'm sure all of you know, I've had multiple diss tracks dropped on me. Multiple. The girls don't say shit to my face, but you know what? I'ma stoop to their level. So I'ma get on the track too. I'ma play your game. You rap, I rap. You mace, I mace. Simple. It's giving per 30. Yeah. The bitches want this smoke. Let's go. I hope he can fly. I'm pulling up tonight. Catch a charge on mine. But it will be alright. But it will be on time. So today I will be getting some visuals for Hope He Can Fight and ATL Freaks. I have Officer Cameron helping me with Hope He Can Fight. I got my orange jumpsuit on, and we just gonna make some magic happen. If I go to jail, it's okay. It Not if you but nigga. I hope he can fight. Been around the world and searched all over. Am I ever gonna find a love for me? Now y'all, this is the moment that I've been waiting for. For us to all come together, showcase our gifts and talents, and impact the world. Cause I know that's what we're gonna do. So Drew Friday and Willa join me for my performance. And I tell y'all, it got real spicy. Going back, let me show you. <laughs> Child. What's going on here? But you know what? Eric's talented, so I don't mind being his little video ho for the day. But baby, one thing about them feet, them shoes was like somebody was cutting bread, baby. Uh uh, could do it. We gon' get into some things. Promise I won't let you go to waste. Sinking in your energy. If I go there, if I go if I touch your body, lick your booty, hit your spot and make it scream, oh, can you handle if I bust on you? It's 
it's fun to get to do this with my sister. My sister came in and he was her wife. You know, they was doing, they was, they was, you know. And then here comes the mistress. Here comes the hoe. Phineas is really, Aaron is very talented. Aaron can sing his ass off. That is one singing light skin nigga. Damn. Because I've been moving this schedule around all day for my friend. Accommodate her. Her accommodations have run out. Not only am I happy to bring this type of opportunity to my friends, I'm honored that they're allowing me to direct them, give them pointers while we're on set. And I honestly cannot wait until you guys see the art and magic that was created today. And while all this is going, I'm like, where the hell is Kendra? The one person I wanted to be here out of everybody. Now listen, I am a businessman, I'm a professional man. I gave everyone a heads up. I called everybody, I sent texts, I sent emails, I sent reminders, I sent phone calls reminding you to check your email. Wayne the Pain showed up. I don't know what that's about. Wayne the Pain was on top, but where's Kendra? I mean, we all, we all had a call time, right? I, I was like very clear on the call time, the importance, right? I've been moving the schedule around all day, right? It's 1040, we only got an hour in. And I, me and Drew still got to go out there. All right. You know why I did this green hair? I thought I'm coming. Said, let's go get me a green, cheap green. I'm here finally with Oliver's uh, Chasing the Beat, honey. I got my music, honey. I'm looking good. I'm feeling good, honey. And I'm on point. I cannot wait to do my thing, baby, because I got a show for y'all. And I'm just excited. I really cannot wait to perform what I got. Like, we finna come through on this one, honey, because I'm always bringing the new music. I'm oh using the money so I get back. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. How was it for y'all? It, it was, was great. How was it for bitch was I? No. no. Oh, 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 can't no. Say at, least, at least not today. <laughs> 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 not bitch today. But no, I can say, I feel like this is like the best day ever we've ever had. Like yeah, we, yeah. we came here, we did the damn thing. So. This is about our craft. Yeah. 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 And so I want y'all to like clap it up for all y'all. Thank y'all for like joining me, believing in me, doing this with me. It was me, the BET Awards. Uh, 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 it was a cooking. Uh, yeah. Give it up for the cooking. Give it up for my life. Give it up for the drum of my life. Hey, wait, so we not gonna do like a cheers? No. No. Not, not, not a cheers. Not a cheers. What y'all wanna say? What y'all wanna say? What, this year? Uh, what we gonna do, like a hand thing? Like, yeah, we do need let's to do, do it. it. Let's Come do on. It. It's ah, so corny. Cool. Cool. <laughs> let's do it. What Damn. should we do? Oh, no, we, we all have been through a lot of stuff, yes, through the have. disagreements, yes, through yes. The, the conflicts, yes. through yes. The, not seeing eye to eye, the differences. Yeah. 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 At the end oh. of the day, it's oh. all love. I lost. And hey, we oh, chasing a fucking beat. Y'all some lame ass. I was gonna say that. They gonna love that. It was cute. Nah, this was fun. This was fun. Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know what the next time I'm gonna do. I love you. I love you. I love you. Call the shit where I body these bitches. Me, walk, stick, talk, that's a vibe for you bitches. Jersey, braids, me, so I'ma rock my bitches. With me and Twigs on the mix, that's a vibe for you bitches. Shut the fuck up, get your money up. 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 Y'all, I am completely nervous to break this bad news to Kendra because we have been doing amazing this entire year and I'm like fuck this could potentially put us back in a bad place because I know Kendra ain't gonna really want to hear that it's her and Wayne the Pain's fault on why she's being cut from today it's gonna be my fault some type of way I can't hold these people here any longer. Like, this is not some mom and pop thing. If I hold them another minute, I have to pay for a whole another day. I'm not doing that. Okay, Wayne and Kendra. Um, like, I feel so bad right now. Like, I feel really bad. 
but we probably won't be able to get y'all today because we ran out of time. Um, and I'm not sure what happened earlier, but like we're waiting around for you to get here. And we, um, like the <laughs> schedule, the schedule got like kind of back up. We kept like moving stuff around way, you know, you know, we kept like moving stuff around right. to wait for you, wait for you, wait for you. But so, I mean, so I'm going to like do an additional day of filming just for myself to get like my shots in. Okay. So if you want to collaborate on that, we can. Okay. That's um, good. or if you wanted to film something on your own and send it in to me, you can, but and well, like, I don't you think it wasn't because we didn't a lot of time. It's just you know you was running a little behind. Honey, stop saying I was running behind. <laughs> I was on time. You was you was on time. Yeah, hell, I waited a whole hour. The call time was eight thirty for you. No, it was not. What time was it? It was eleven o'clock. It said eleven o'clock on the email. Yeah. On the email. I was at my makeup artist at eight o'clock. For real, I did. Is it yes, my fault? I don't let know. me see. Let me see. <laughs> let me see. It's in there. You got it. it's in there. Let I me double check. Cause if if it's my fault, then it's then it's my fault. But I I really thought I had scheduled you at eight thirty to show email, up. Cause that's what Ryan sent me. Yeah, he sent me the time and everything. Where's the email? The email's in there. It said that we was going on at eleven, so I figured she thought that we. Were but it was in the. But no, for real, yeah, show me. No, look, like, show me, show me. No, look, but like, just in case no, I made a mistake. It did say eight thirty. It did like, say eight thirty yeah. for her to show up. But I had told her what? eleven because I initially saw that it said that we was going on at eleven. So I was like, I didn't really know. But then when I called, I was like, be there eight thirty. <laughs> she was supposed to be here by nine thirty. All right, you don't do makeup, man. You know, it's okay. You sure? Mm -hmm. Now, honey, at this point, I, 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 I hear all of her, but I don't hear all of her. Because it's like, okay, yeah, I'm on time, honey. My set start, started at 11 o'clock. I'm here at 1030 and I'm dressed and I'm ready. You honestly think that I'm going to come here and wait around four to five hours for free? Let's start there. Four to five hours just waiting around or whatever. And then I get here and they say shit is ready and, and it wasn't ready. Now I don't wait around here and... We at a time now? Oh, cause you was late? No, this ain't got nothing to do with late. Is this your get back or something? But let me tell you where I draw the line at, baby. Where the fuck is my money at? For my makeup? The fuck my money at for my gas? Where the fuck is my money at for my show CD? Where the fuck is my money? All that other shit and, and time and all that shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Period. So so you, okay, you so, so you never knew about 830? No. Okay. I thought eleven. So it's all good. It's, it's all good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Are Are you sure? I did put it in the email, you right? Though. Email. Okay. I just want to make sure yeah, it wasn't not, it, it wasn't an oversight for me, cause not, like I did not. say like. Well, Wayne the Pain confirmed. He read the email that said she had to be there at eight thirty. At that point, I was slightly done talking because you acknowledged you got the email. You saw the email. I spoke to you and you told me you saw the email. Why did you tell Kendra to be here at 8.30? I had structured the day in two waves. One group of people were going in the beginning. In the middle, both groups were going to meet up to film the outro, which when Kendra was not there caused a delay and caused me to have to re reconfigure and move people around to try to keep the day going on. And she still was. <laughs> at this point, it's not my fault. Like, it's not my fault. Everybody else showed up on time. Everybody else did what they were supposed to do. Because I mean, we, we, we were supposed like to film. Ain't no problem. Because we were supposed to film like a cast intro. I mean, uh -huh. a, a cast outro with everybody. Right. That's why I had like the last group of people arriving at eight thirty, so we can like do the cast intro. Okay. And then film it together, and that way everybody can like do the thing. But then like we were just trying to, you know, where's Kendra? Where's Kendra? We just had to keep like you know moving stuff around. Yeah, and then we ran out of time. time. I understand. At this point, right now. I'm kind of disappointed in Oliver. Like, I understand you got a friendship with Kendra, but I thought me and you still had some type of friendship. But if Kendra was there at a certain time and she waited and waited, and I was there on time, like, I mean, I'm just not understanding. So I'm getting tired of it. It's like, I'm trying to be your friend. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. But I see why a lot of people don't be your friend because you gotta stop. Like, some point you gotta be like, okay, business is business, but at the end of the day, it's a way you do business. 
Okay, okay, pull this off and put it back on when it's time. I mean, you look good. <laughs> I feel like you're so afraid to touch you. I don't want to make you sad. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. But uh, y'all look nice. Yeah, just let them know. We'll make it up. Okay, okay. perfect. Right. See you later. Perfect, perfect. Thank you all. All right. I'm not sure why he sent you 11. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I know that Oliver no longer has any responsibility for this, what's going on right now. However, I am here to aid in any solutions because I do want Kendra to be a part of it. It was so special bringing you to work today with me. Yeah, it was fun to see you do anything. It's nice. Thank you, you think I did a good job? Yes. You got to teach me some dance moves. So I could be, I could be like Drew Friday with my Shamar moves. <laughs> So I can be cricket letter, cricket letter, ah, cricket letter, cricket letter, ah, thank you very much. Got my lip gloss on you, I'll get my lip gloss on you. <laughs> Sissy Pops, you know who it is. It is the voice of TTP, and I will be hosting the season five Chasing Atlanta reunion. Okay! This season has been a lot, and I know I'm the only one that can get y'all the tea y'all need from this hot ass season. I want to know what's really going on with Cameron and Jay. At the end of the day, we were fucking. Ah! That was it. Where is this bomb that everyone's been talking about? You tapped that her. man up to get Off his ass popped. He did, and he got maced. And is there some drama in the fabulous six friend group? But you has been real disrespectful. If it's nothing more that I am from Jay Amore, it hurt. This reunion is going to be a key, so I need for you all to hit the link in the description box below right now and send in the juiciest questions because this reunion show is going to be hot. See y'all soon. Bye. amazing for me. I'm very just proud of everything that I've overcome, everything that I have accomplished. I think that in this year, I learned to not please other people, but just to please myself. And as I've been doing that, I've just been seeing so much growth. I'm grateful for all the experiences I've had in this group over the last three years. It's been a growing time for me, and I'm just so amazed at what I've done. Going forward, you know, I'm just gonna continue to go on the up and up. I'm gonna continue to be me, continue to live out loud, and just continue to show people that Troy Gasses isn't going anywhere. I got my hookah business coming. Make sure you're looking out for lavish hookah. I got Talk Live Tuesdays, my podcast, come back up and I trust you will make sure you want to follow that because it's gonna get into some things, other things. And of course, y'all already know, I'm hosting parties left and right and I've been booked all summer long already. So just know that it's gonna give what it's supposed to be give. And just remember, Troy Gaskins, AKA Touch by Tag, AKA Tag Did It, AKA Boom, aka the big dog, did exactly what he said he was gonna do this year. Y'all already know what it is. It's tag did it on the mic over and out. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me when we hit in the dark. We're dreamers. This season, I got into some mess, performed my ass off, got better at my makeup. Gave y'all fashions, lost the pageant, lost the competition. However, I learned so much about myself in drag, outside of drag. Just learning the different things that I learned throughout the, with, with this group of friends and how I can say things and it can come out wrong and how to just communicate better. And what's next? I'm gonna be on brunch at a rooftop at the Renaissance Hotel every weekend. I'm still your show hostess with the mostest at MSR each and every Saturday. I'm entering another pageant in October. And you never know, a girl might be working on a package for a certain show.
It's your girl Drew Friday, so say my motherfucking name and just like BK, I'ma have it my motherfucking way, bitch. See y'all later. We come alive in the night, tell me something about So this season has been ridiculous for me. I started off trying to do my own wine and that's taken off. I started working on my first shoe line. I became editor-in-chief of Elve Magazine. That will be coming out very soon. I did my first launch of my brand. The House of JMR is officially open. <laughs> I've had some good times, some bad times in this group. I've met some new people that I'm considering to call in the word friends. <laughs> I've lost one of my biggest supporters, but I've gained so many, thanks to you all. And at the end of the day, they may try to belief you, satellize your name, sabotage you, but just keep going. Cause I am. And Jay Moore is open for business and doing very well. Thank you. Steps in my heart with dreamers. Wow, this season has been so crazy, y'all. This season has literally been a roller coaster. I've met some beautiful people. I've had some down times or some hard times. I've been in the middle of shit. However, I remained me. I'm still me. I'm gonna always be me. I'm human. I'm not special. I'm not a robot. I have feelings. I mess up. However, I wake up and I try, try, and try again to be a better version of who I was before. Moving to Atlanta, being around as many gay people as I was, all different shapes and all different sizes, all different personalities, all different backgrounds, it made me proud of my sexuality. It made me proud of my blackness and my Puerto Ricanness. Like, it made me proud altogether. And I'm just proud. I'm proud of us and I'm proud of who I'm becoming because of y'all. But much love to everybody. Chase your motherfucking dreams and fuck anybody that says otherwise. So I feel like I accomplished a lot this season. I come a really, really long way, especially with my mental health and all the trauma that I went through, my past relationships and a lot of secrets and things and drama that I've been through in my life that you guys may have not seen. I was able to showcase who I was as Aaron Thomas, not just the man that does the music, but the man outside of the music. I feel like I got a chance to open up a little bit more, gaining new friends, experiencing new experiences, and really get an insight on the outside looking in and what it takes to grind outside of my own grind. You know, people deal with different struggles, people different obstacles. Um, and I got a chance to meet some great people during the process with everything that was going on. The biggest lesson I learned this season was to never judge anybody. Never judge a book by its cover. No matter how good somebody looks, you just never know what somebody is going through. So it's best to show love and shine the light that's within you. What's next for me? I plan on doing a major world tour. I plan on dropping a couple more albums and just taking over the world. You know, I feel like I've done a lot of major accomplishments. I'm looking forward to do more. I know it's so much more. I also want to settle down. I want to have my own family. I want to build a great healthy relationship with my lover and just live life to the fullest. Y'all already know what's going to be going up from here. Virgos do it best and I plan on getting bigger and bigger and doing more greater and greater things. Love y'all. We come alive in the night time something about how it is in the moonlight that look in your eyes and so being around this group, I can honestly say it grew me to another level. You know, I feel like I saw my share of challenges, but I had my share of highs as well. Just to be connected to a group of people who are just so creatively indulged in their crafts, it really fueled my work ethic. Like I can watch people like Aaron, Rico, Rico, Oliver, and how they do what they do on the level that they do it on. And it really just fueled me like to, to, to go higher and to go harder socially. Um, I learned a lot of lessons as well. You know, um, we all are so much more similar than we are. I've learned to have more respect, more patience, and to, you know, not jump to my first reaction. You know, Ike is gonna go harder. This experience taught me to go harder, to develop more, to never count yourself out, and um, just to be your most authentic self. So I have some things planned musically that I'll be working on. I'm um, still gonna be dealing my socks and 
You know, the sky is the limit for me. Even though the ATL hustle can sometimes be inconsistent, when you're chasing Atlanta, you'll always end up on top. And I'm proof of that. It's been a great journey. It's been such a pleasure. These past few months has been a journey. I've learned so much about myself from dealing with anger and people creating stories and you know the fight situation to come to a common ground and become an adult and be able to express my emotions i've learned a lot about myself from being around these people good bad or indifferent i'm happy that i went through this i made friends kind of got a little crush I'm always gonna have my art. I'm always gonna have my music. But now I have a group of people that I can call family. If you could take one thing from me, just know that my life isn't easy. When I wake up every day and I fight, I fight to be happy. And y'all should have too. Because we only get one life, so live it. We dream. The time has come, honey. I did so, 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 so much this season. I did so, so, so much. Just new things that I never thought that I probably would try. Met new people that I probably wouldn't even, probably wouldn't have never even have met if I never would have come here or whatever. Just being from Memphis and coming to Atlanta was already a, a thing to get used to, but I feel like it was a great experience for me to be welcomed into the group by the people that I was welcomed into the group by. I feel like it was just an overall great experience for me. I fought with some people, I argued with some people, worked it out with some people, but overall I wouldn't change a thing about the experience because it helped me to realize more about myself as a person. Even with me going through the things that I was going through, it just helped me become a better me and to challenge myself and to become the best of me and beat the old me. So what's next for me is already going on, baby. So of course y'all know I already cooked and you know your girl can lay some hair down. So I work at Exquisite Beauty, honey, over off of Peachtree, making the weeds and running the things. And I also work at my uncle's Marcos that he owns, honey, and I am a ship lead there, baby. Doing the things, making the pieces that you guys love oh so much, honey. And so for me, I just want to keep on growing my brand. I want to keep on getting further and further in my transition and doing the things that I want to do for me. I also want to keep on learning myself and finding out more about who Willa really is and what really, Willa really likes. And I just feel like the sky's the limit for me. I can do whatever it is I put my mind to. And don't y'all worry. This is not the last you've seen of your girl. Big things coming from your girl. You know, when I first came on to the scene, I had no idea that anybody was going to like me. I had no idea that I was going to be somewhat what they call a breakout or any of that. Because I came on to this insecure. I was insecure about my skin. I was insecure about my looks. I didn't think that, you know, I would be that girl. And so I came on as myself. And what the show did for me was it gave me more strength. It made me believe in, in my color, my strength, in everything. It just made me want it even more. And I used that and I put it in the music and everything. And to tell you the truth, yes, this is my third season on Chasing Reality. And Chasing reality, it opened up doors in the LGBTQ community for me because I started off with the straight people because I was scared to go to my people because I didn't know how I was going to be judged and how I was going to be took and everything. And I'm glad that I took the time to come on over here with my people because this is where I belong. And thank you, Chasing Reality. This is your girl, T.S. Lil' Kendra. Remember, you discovered her. This year has been amazing. Like, just being around Kendra, working, doing our thing, traveling, going on tour, hitting the clubs, getting to know fans. Like, it's been amazing. Actually, 
working on my own music this time around. Like, that's my heart. And I'm just so excited about what's to come. And like, I met Rico Casadon. Like, that has been a highlight of my year because I don't have too many friends that have the same drive as I do. And I've been needing that. I need that male companionship where I could just talk to and it ain't about no lovey dovey, but it's, you know, it's something to touch your heart. So I'm glad to have him in my life. And just going on, looking back at everything, all the drama and everything, I feel like it made me better. Cause it made me realize that I got my own faults and I got my own darkness that I gotta work on. So I'm working to move forward to the light and definitely I'm ready to drop my album. I got two new singles. I got my new video, Count Out The Calls coming out. So it's just like, life is amazing. And I'm just ready to see what the future holds for Wayne the Pain. So as you all know, this has been a very, very crazy year for me. I started off in love, defending my relationship to this entire group, had issues with Cameron, fixed dolls, and just any misunderstanding I tried to work through. Even being mates, you know, we worked through that too. So just to see that we have come out on the other side, just in a positive light, working together, you know, making business moves together, I'm excited because who knows what the future may bring and we might all just be in the same room very soon. So, so throughout this year, I definitely have learned to work on my temper. Um, I don't have to always be right in situations. You know, it's always good to try and find understanding. And also like there's more to life than just your relationship. Just always remember to find that inner peace and inner love because that's what's gonna propel you to the next level. So this time two years ago before I got on the show, God knows where I would be. You know, this platform has elevated me to new levels, new heights, and I'm starting to think that's why I'm starting to separate from some people, but I'm extremely appreciative of everything this team has brought to my life. The season may be over, but you're not done seeing me, baby. You may call me messy. You may say I'm a stunt queen. You might say I do a little drugs. I don't know what the girls may say about me, but my name's in your mouth and you're still following. So stay tuned, bitch, because this ain't the last you're gonna see of me. Until then, over and out. We come alive. This year, honestly, has been, in my opinion, the best year I have ever had. I have grown leaps and bounds as a human. I have lost a lot. However, I've gained so much more. My mom and I have a stronger relationship. My dad and I have a new growing relationship. Quez and I are on the right track, finally. My team, my professional team is growing. I'm excited at the person that I look at every day in the mirror. And it took me a long time to get here, but a bitch is happy. Listen, my business is growing. My social media presence is growing. I'm on a major network, exactly producing a show that has been picked up for a third season. There's new opportunities coming. And yes, people, you will see Oliver Twigs back on your television screens in the next coming months. No, I ain't talking about the T.S. Madison experience, which I heard has been renewed for a second season. Cut in. No, this is the biggest thing that I have ever done in my career. And I am so excited to bring you guys on this journey. It's been a wild and bumpy ride. Listen, it's Oliver Twix, your nerd boy cutie, always reporting for duty to do the Lord's work once again. Class is always in session, and the nerd is always in charge, now and forevermore. <laughs> we come alive in the night time, something about how it is, in the moon like a look in your eyes. This season has been good for me. I mean, I have my ups, I have my downs, but overall experience, I have enjoyed this season. You know, I enjoyed the people, the the friendships I built, the business relationships I built and within the circle. I mean, over all the seasons that I've been on here, this is my favorite. This group has been tremendous with uplifting me and uh, just sticking by me and fighting for me. So I've never had that in a long time. But you know, I have other stuff going on. 
of course, you know, I have my hosting thing coming up real soon that you guys will be able to see another styling gig. And also I have some independent movies that I style for that you guys will have to see coming out real soon. And then also a shocker, I will be moving. Yes, Cameron is moving out of Atlanta uh, to a state near you. I'm not gonna really give too much, but y'all will see. I have decided to pack my things up and just kind of transition to do bigger and better things and better opportunities that I have for myself. But I'm gonna miss Atlanta and I'm gonna miss my friends and I'm gonna miss the people that I've got to know. So I wanna just, you know, take this time to just really bond with the people right now and then I'll be leaving in a couple of months. So it's a lot of bigger and better things coming for Cameron and I'm ready for the world to see it. It's gonna be great. And it's just like, this is not gonna be the last that you see of me.